Hey guys, this is Mike with White Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this 3D maze in Fusion 360. So the programs we'll need today are Fusion 360 for sure, Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, I'm going to show you how to use both, and the site maze generator. So depending on your situation, you're going to want to change these values, but for me, I want to print this, so I'm going to use a rather low number. Let's try 7 for the width and 7 for the height, and then click Generate. So I'll check Solution here, and I'm not quite happy with that, so I'm going to generate new until I find a maze that I like. I really like this pattern, so let's save that. So up here where it says PDF, go down to SVG and click Download. I'm going to save it to my Downloads folder and import this into Inkscape, press OK, and also Illustrator. So let's start with Inkscape. As you can see, the maze is a little bit too small, so what I'm gonna do is select it and drag it to roughly the right size. And by hitting Control, you're gonna keep, keep it from doing that. Next, you're gonna wanna go up here on Fill and Stroke and Stroke Style, and the width, you're gonna wanna put it to something that you like. So I'm gonna do two millimeters. And this seems about right. You can also come down here and click the measurement tool and drag and drop a line to see how big your maze is. So 123 millimeters is pretty good if you're 3D printing. Select everything, right click on the line and then click ungroup. Next, you're going to want to go to Path, and you're going to want to click Stroke to Path. So now, again, go to Path, and then click Union. So you're going to want to click File, Save As, and I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to name it Maze Tutorial Inkscape. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Adobe Illustrator. So make sure it's all selected and you're going to want to go up to object and you're going to want to click expand. Click OK and on the right side under appearance the stroke you're going to want to choose the stroke that you like. So let me zoom in on here and I think 2PT is good. Make sure it's all selected and under Pathfinder, you're going to want to click this, click to unite. And next we're going to save. I'm going to save it to my desktop again. And call it Maze Tutorial uh, Illustrator. And then press OK. So now in Fusion, you're going to want to go insert and then insert SVG. Insert from my computer and find the, the maze that you just saved. So I'm going to use Maze Tutorial Illustrator. Choose the orientation that you want your sketch to be. I'm going to go on the floor. So we're going to scale this up a little bit and then we're going to press enter. So next we want to add a floor. So go up to here, two point rectangle and click one corner, go down to the other corner. So we're going to extrude the walls next. Click E and choose your walls. Go up to your uh, preferred height. I'm going to go 10 millimeters and then press enter. Click E again and make sure your sketch is visible choose the floor and then I'm gonna go around two millimeters I think and then we can hide the sketch and this is a rough idea of what it looks like you want to make sure the hallways are a good size so up here if you click measure you can check from one wall to the other and that's 10 millimeters so around a centimeter which is I think is a good size and if we want to check for the whole thing, see if it fits on our, our uh, print bed, it would be 86 
millimeters, which is fine. So now, if you want to save it as an STL, you're going to go up on the left side under bodies, right click on body one. I got to close measure and then right click on body one. Save as STL. Going to want to make sure the format is ASCII instead of binary. Refinement low is fine and then press OK. I'm going to go save this to my desktop and call it maze STL. And if you'd want to import this into Unreal Engine, you'd want to save it as an OBJ or an FBX file. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.